The Coffee Mind Rose Color Palette is developed to help you maintain consistency in your daily production. In this scientific article, we have de demonstrated what we've known for years, that color is indeed the most important uh, product parameter to track in um, quality control, but also uh, to modulate when you develop products. It is designed to keep a reference color of the color that you want to match in your roast. So the point is, when the color gets close, but not there yet, you start to take out samples. And um, this way, you get a gradient of colors leading up to your reference color. Because normally people would stand with a small, small handful of reference color or whatever, with a small amount from the sample spoon. And it's really difficult to make a good decision when you compare a small amount to a small amount. Here you've got a big amount, and you've got a bigger amount of the sample as well, leading up to the reference color, just next to the reference color, so that it follows the, um, uh, the closest of the sample regardless of how many subsamples you take. And it's important to look for the frequency of the lightest in the sample and the frequency of the lightest in the roasting coffee. And if that's your focus, you tend to make a right decision. Otherwise, often, it tends to be too light when you take it out. And now I can see the color is really closing in, and I would say it's a match. Let's see how we did. This is the reference that I wanted to achieve, and this is the rose that we did. Actron Actron 74.5. So that's 0.6 uh, of a precision, which is more than enough for most purposes. For um, education, you'll pass both the foundation intermediate and professional on this, particularly the professionals plus minus three. Uh, and customers wouldn't be able to tell any difference with this color deviation.